So we are beginning to learn uh, about Parashat and more, which is Vayikra chapter 21. Uh, Vayikra chapter 21 is the beginning of Parashat and more, and it has a lot, a lot of mitzvot that have to do, especially with very special people, and that is Kohanim, anyone who is a descendant of Arona Kohen, while also including Arona Kohen himself, has to follow certain mitzvot. So let me just screen share the parak to you. And here we go. We are going straight to the parak. So here we go. Vayomer Hashem el Moshe. Hashem says to Moshe, Emor el ha-kohanim b'nei Aaron v'amarta aleim. Tell them, l'nefesh lo itama b'amav. A kohen cannot become impure. And we learned before that the way a person becomes impure is if they come in contact with a dead body. So if someone goes to a cemetery or is in a home where someone passes away, then they become impure, they become tameh. And Hashem says, if you're a Kohen, you cannot do that. Even though usually it's a mitzvah to go to a funeral and to show last respect to someone who passes away, a Kohen cannot do that. A Kohen cannot become impure by coming in contact with uh, someone who passed away. However, there are seven exceptions for a Kohen uh, when he can do this. Kim l'she'i roha karove lav, his wife, le'imo laviv, his mother and his father, le'libno u'levito achiv, his ischas v'chalila, his father, mother, his son, his daughter, his brother, u'le'achoto ha'betula ha'krova alav asher lo ha'ita le'ish la'itamayef, his sister who was never married, uh, he can also um, make sure that he goes to those funerals as long as it's one of his immediate uh, relatives. However, he cannot go, if it's a, another funeral, he can't go to the funeral. The Torah now says a prohibition that's stated here specifically to Kohanim, or especially to Kohanim, but it also applies to every Jew. Uh, we learned before in chapter 19 in Parakut Tet that if someone dies, you can't just tear your hair, hair out, you can't cut yourself, chas v'chalila, and so a Kohen also cannot do that. A Kohen cannot shave with a razor, like any Jewish man uh, can't shave with a razor, so too the Kohen can't do that. And they cannot cut themselves if chas v'chalila, someone dies, so they can't pull their hair out, they can't uh, cut their hair with a razor, and they cannot scratch themselves if someone passes away. They should be holy to Hashem and they should not desecrate Hashem's name. The Kohen is very special. The Kohen is the person that is bringing the Korbanot. The Kohen is the one serving in the Beit HaMikdash and bringing Hashem's uh, Korbanot. And therefore, they must behave in a very uh, special manner, a manner that's not required of everyone else. He cannot marry someone who is divorced. You should treat the Kohen as, uh, as someone special because he's the one who brings the Korbanot. He should be holy to you because he is, uh, because I, Hashem, am holy. And in fact, there are several customs that we have fulfilling this mitzvah. For example, if you're in synagogue and you notice who gets the first aliyah, it's the Kohen who gets the first aliyah. If there's Birkat HaMazon and we're benching and someone is asked to lead Birkat HaMazon, it is usually the Kohen who will ask to lead because you're supposed to uh, give special respect to the uh, Kohen. Now, if you are the Kohen Gadol, there are even more serious expectations. If a Kohen is the Kohen Gadol and he is the one who had the Shem and Amishcha, was anointed with oil to uh, bring, you know, to be, to be the Kohen Gadol, he cannot, at Rosh Hashanah, he cannot grow his hair. In fact, it says that every 30 days, the Kohen Gadol has to get a haircut. from. He cannot tear his clothing. He cannot come to any funeral. He cannot even come to the funeral of his own parents. He can't leave the Beit HaMikdash for no reason. He cannot desecrate Hashem's uh, 
uh, Beit HaMikdash, Ki Nezer Hashem in Mishchat HaLokav Alav Ani Hashem, because the crown of Hashem is on him, the, anoint, the oil of Hashem is on him. Remember, he gets anointed with that special oil, the Shem HaMishcha, and therefore he has to behave in a special way, and he cannot marry someone who is a widow or divorced. He has to uh, marry someone who was never married. Uh, now, another mitzvah that's found in this parak is um, if you have someone who is uh, missing a limb or uh, they have some physical disability, they don't partake in the service of the Beit HaMikdash. If someone is, um, is sick, they cannot serve in the Beit HaMikdash, Ishibero, Pisecho, Harum, Masora, etc. goes through all the different kinds of things that uh, a person, if they have it, they can't serve in the Beit HaMikdash. They can eat from the Korbanot, but they cannot take part in the uh, service at the Beit HaMikdash. Um, and that is pretty much Parakaf Aleph. Uh, it's an interesting parak, and uh, it has mostly to do with the Kohanim. Thank you so, so much for listening.